Hi there, uh, this is Dr. Lauren, and we are going to be talking about hydrochloric acid and your stomach today, and how to complete an at-home, very easy, simple test to try to determine where your hydrochloric acid levels are, and um, hopefully help kickstart your digestive system and rebooting it so that it works the way that it's supposed to. Um, so. Hydrochloric acid deficiency is actually probably way more common than what you probably think. There are estimates that it's up to 80 to 90 percent of the population um, may be dealing with low levels of hydrochloric acid, which again is completely the opposite of what we're um, constantly exposed to and used to. Typically we're told that you know, we get heartburn and reflex, and most people have too much acid in their stomach, and that's what causes their symptoms. So we're gonna go over some of that, and hopefully get to the root of what is the cause of many people's digestive issues, and heartburn, and reflux, and things like that. But, you don't even have to have those obvious symptoms. Um, you can still actually be suffering from low levels of hydrochloric acid. Um, I myself am a prime example of this. I apparently have had um, probably low levels of hydrochloric acid for a while. Um, why? Well, um, when I was a child, I had asthma and was of course prescribed an albuterol steroid inhaler. And steroids are probably one of the um, most common and most detrimental medications and substances to the lining of the stomach. Um, and Turns out, after becoming familiar with functional medicine work and understanding how to read labs and blood work from a health perspective rather than from a disease diagnosis perspective, um, that I've had what's called gastritis or gastric inflammation, inflammation of my stomach um, for many, many, many years. I do not have um, acid reflex, I don't get heartburn, I don't have any of those normal symptoms that people would think about, but I myself um, have actually very low levels of hydrochloric acid. The implications of that for me um, was that I had very poor metabolism and breakdown of protein, and I also um, was much more susceptible to parasites. Um, hydrochloric acid in the stomach is one of the best and first line defenses um, for our body against things that are entering through our mouth and through our food and through our sources um, of dietary intake. Um, most things are coming in through the orifice of the mouth and should hit a very acidic stomach. And it should kill um, anything that's living, the pathogen, those, those bacteria, um, parasites, those should you know, basically be eliminated as soon as they hit the stomach, if the acidity level is where it should be. So losing that acidic state of the stomach um, can make you much more susceptible to nasty things that you don't want, like parasites, um, and other bacterial and viral infections, which may explain why some people get hit really hard with the flu or common colds or viral things. Um, and other people seem to do okay, that the immune system has a lot to do with it, but those people with enough hydrochloric acid in their stomach are probably gonna be um, able to ward off some of those initial bad guys that enter through the mouth, just through the state of having a very acidic environment that it should. Like we're talking like a pH of like, I've heard between one to three, which is, I mean, if you dropped your shirt in your stomach, it would like burn your shirt. It would eat through your clothes, like acidic. So, in order to protect the stomach, your stomach has this mucosal lining that keeps it safe and keeps it protected um, so that it doesn't eat through the tissue and create havoc within you. Um, so, when this mucosal lining gets really inflamed, um, you're much more susceptible to bacteria infections like H. pylori. Um, and you're much more likely and much more susceptible to things like ulcers um, or gastritis, which is um, inflammation of the stomach lining, of that mucosal lining. So um, again, like I said, I didn't have any of those types of digestive issues. I've had gastric inflammation for a long time. Um, I did test myself for H. pylori, and fortunately I do not have that. Um, so 
on I go. Um, so completing, like I said, the, the at-home hydrochloric acid loading challenge is a great way of trying to kind of assess where your levels are at and to see if you might benefit from more acidity within your diet and your lifestyle. However, um, I myself could not complete the full hydrochloric acid challenge because of the level of inflammation I had within my stomach lining. So one way that you can tell this is by um, a simple blood work through doing a um, complete metabolic panel or a CMP for short. Very ex inexpensive. We can order it for like $5, super cheap. Um, what you do is you'll look at your total protein levels and um, they will measure your albumin levels, which is another protein. And if you subtract your total protein from your albumin levels, you should get something within the range of like 2.6, 2.7, 2.8 is ideal. Um, if you're up by like 3.3, like I was, um, then that is a sign that there's inflammation within the stomach lining. Anything above 3.5 is actually considered like we need to go run um, additional tests to find out what's going on. Um, anything below that, so if you're you know, 2.2, 2.3, anything that's below that can also indicate a um, imbalance or a lack of hydrochloric acid as well. So what do you do? Um, I have written out some very detailed um, instructions on our website, which you can access at www.wecreatewellness.com dot com forward slash H C L all lowercase um, that will start to explain the benefits and you know the general information about hydrochloric acid that we just went over um, it will have a forward or a page two button at the bottom of it where you can move on to the hydrochloric acid test make sure you find out if it is safe for you to do not everyone should do this test so please 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 um, read the warnings and the cautions that come with it and be aware if you are somebody that should or should not be completing the test. Um, so another thing, I'm sorry to backtrack just a little bit, um, your stomach is important and um, is required, that acidity level is required to break down the proteins that we eat. And our protein is broken down into things called amino acids. And these are like building blocks and fuel for your entire body. So that's when people talk about how important protein is. You need to be intaking good protein. But shouldn't you be breaking it down and absorbing it too? Yeah, absolutely. So if you're eating lots of protein and you can't break it down, what do you think happens? Gout, high levels of uric acid, more stress on the kidneys because they have to process these bigger loads of protein. These are all signs that your stomach doesn't have enough acid to break down the proteins that you eat, which can create all sorts of problems. So it's a super easy, simple fix. Not to mention, you need to have enough hydrochloric acid in your stomach to be able to activate and absorb the B12, which most people that have been involved in the health world for a little while understand the importance of B12 and the formation of red blood cells and the roles that it plays with energy and um, all sorts of different things. So you need adequate levels to absorb and to properly utilize B12. Um, so I'm sure there's others, like iron metabolism is a big one, I forgot. Um, you've got to have adequate levels of hydrochloric acid to um, have the entire process of metabolizing iron properly. So there's a number of different ways that the stomach can actually influence the entire system. So I know, I know, I'll move on. So here's how we test. If you do have um, gastric inflammation, if you know that you've got gastritis, um, like I said, you probably won't be able to complete the test right away. And actually, um, using a product by, I love Biotics Research, they quite carry quality products and um, they source good ingredients, they have a lot of education and science that backs them. So I do prefer um, some of their products over others. Um, so Gastrozyme is the um, product that I would typically recommend for somebody that has stomach inflammation or gastritis. And typically you're taking um, anywhere between like two to four tablets before a meal um, to help reduce some of that inflammation and calm it down so that you can move on to the hydrochloric acid test. So you'll still have to get there. Um, so 
There's one of two ways. Well, there's actually three. If you've got an already very sensitive stomach or you got a little kid that has a tummy ache, start with lemon juice. Like a table or a teaspoon of lemon juice, doesn't take much. If it acts like it helps this tummy ache and helps you feel better, then move on to the next step. If it makes it way, way worse, then stop there. You probably actually might have too much hydrochloric acid. Um, the next step is to do the um, apple cider vinegar test. And Bragg's is my go-to company. They've been around for a while. I think they source a pretty clean, good product. Um, and it's organic, so you're not getting impurities while you're testing, which is nice. So apple cider vinegar. Um, it's not my favorite, I won't lie. Um, I'll eat it on salad dressings and things like that. But to do the test, you've got to take, um, I would start probably like a teaspoon. Start with a small amount. You can mix it with water. Um, and work up to doing like a tablespoon per meal and as long as you're not getting burning in your stomach or real warming sensation um, you can do that as kind of a um, daily maintenance or type of wellness thing it's a good thing to incorporate apple cider vinegar is great for you however most people have such an imbalance and have such a higher need for hydrochloric acid that the apple cider vinegar alone isn't going to be enough to fix the problem. So most people in order to fix it are going to need um, what we call the atomic bomb of hydrochloric acid. So you're going to need a much higher dose and um, it rebuilds those levels and it activates those protein pumps again um, much more quickly than if you were to do it through apple cider vinegar alone. I think apple cider vinegar, like I said, is your um, prevention and your daily lifestyle thing that you can do to prevent this from coming back. Um, but like I said, if you're deficient, most people need to do a much higher dose. So my favorite product um, that's the Atomic Bomb is um, Betaine plus HP by Biotics. Um, it has 700 milligrams of betaine hydrochloride and 10 milligrams of pepsin. So I like the combination of the hydrochloric acid um, or the betaine hydrochloride with the pepsin. Um, it's a little more comprehensive, um, but one capsule can pack a pretty good punch. Way more than a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. So um, how do you do that? Well, um, you start by taking one capsule in the middle of your meal and see how you feel wait a couple hours. If you don't have an obvious warming sensation or a burning sensation in your stomach, and maybe actually you feel a little better, then at the next meal, or you can wait a day if before you bump it up, or a couple days depending on your sensitivity, um, add another capsule towards the end of your meal. And um, the, um, sorry I'm getting warnings on my computer here. The, uh, so the way that you go about doing this or continue to do this is to add a capsule in the middle and then at the end and then at the middle and then at the end. So you keep bumping it up one capsule at a time, alternating between the middle and the end of the meal um, until you get that warming sensation in your stomach. And then you back down. That's your loading dose. The warming sensation is your loading dose. That's too much, so you back it down. Um, some people can do this, you know, adding a capsule at each meal. Some people need to space it out every couple days by adding a capsule, um, you know, every 72 hours. Listen to your body. Be smart. You know your body pretty well. So if you know you can handle quite a bit, then maybe you can go a little faster. But if not, take it slow. It's okay. So um, what you do is you'll kind of continue at that dose um, for however long until you start to feel warming and then you decrease the dose again. And then you take that for however long it takes before you get warming in your stomach and then you decrease the dose. So you're slowly tapering off until the point that hopefully those protein pumps are activated and ready to create or start producing the hydrochloric acid again. But you have to have enough zinc to make hydrochloric acid too. So typically what we'll do, I like to check people for these levels before we just start giving it to everybody. but. Um, in addition to once we get those hydrochloric acid levels up and we get it into your system, we'll start checking other vitamins and minerals and incorporating zinc to make sure that those um, building blocks for the hydrochloric acid are there. So 
Um, it can be a little complex, but that's a simplified version. So hopefully you can check out the website, um, complete the at-home test, understand a little bit more about the importance of it, and that's really where I like people to start because the stomach is really, um, besides the mouth and the eyes and the brain, the stomach is really where the digestion starts. It's where the protein's broken down. So starting there, um, can actually fix a lot of issues lower down in the system as well. So start with a hydrochloric acid test. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.